Epsom salts, or magnesium sulfate, is a natural occurring mineral first discovered in a bitter saline spring in Epsom, England. Traditionally used as a bath salt, these days we can find them in many of our beauty and household products. Even gardeners use them to improve their crops. Magnesium and sulfate both play an essential role for your body's optimal health. Magnesium plays a major role in over 300 enzyme reactions, reduces inflammation and improves muscle and nerve function. Sulfate is important for the formation of brain tissue and joint proteins, it helps to improve nutrient absorption and flushes toxins. Did you know that almost half of Americans have a magnesium or sulfate deficiency? And guess what? Epsom salts can help you restore magnesium and sulfate levels in your body. They can easily be absorbed through your skin and that's why Epsom salt baths became so popular over the years. But that's not all, keep watching to discover how Epsom salts can aid you in your daily life. Soaking in an Epsom salt bath is one of the easiest external ways to boost your magnesium and sulfate levels and detox your body. Research studies have shown that magnesium is more easily absorbed through your skin than through your digestive tract. Just add two cups to your bath water and soak for at least 15 minutes, three times a week, to reap the benefits. Do not use soap as it will negatively interfere with the salts. To enhance relaxation add lavender essential oil as well. The benefits of adding Epsom salts to your bathtub can include Boosting magnesium and sulfate levels Improving circulation and heart health Improving ability for the body to use insulin Eliminating harmful toxins Relieving body aches Improving nerve function It can be a great natural stress reliever because it binds serotonin which creates a feeling of well-being and relaxation. Reducing pain and muscle cramps. Improving absorption of nutrients. Reducing swelling of sprains, bruises and can be used to treat boils. Preventing or easing headaches. It can soften your skin. It soothes itchy and sunburned skin. Finally, it can help you sleep better. You can also use Epsom salt in your foot bath to soak your feet to ease muscle soreness. Some people believe soaking the feet this way can rid the body of toxins and heavy metals. Absorbing magnesium through the skin from an Epsom salt foot soak may provide the following benefits. 1. Decreasing symptoms of athlete's foot. Epsom salt does not kill the fungus that causes athlete's foot. However, it may help draw the moisture out which makes the environment less inviting for fungus. 2. Easing inflammation. While some advocates claim that an Epsom salt foot soak removes toxins from the body, there is no strong evidence to confirm this. However, the absorption of the magnesium through the skin may boost the levels of the mineral in the body and decrease inflammation. Reducing inflammation may ease pain and stiffness associated with conditions, such as arthritis and gout. 3. Exfoliating the skin. The crystallized compound structure of Epsom salt provides exfoliation of the dead skin on the feet. The foot soak may help decrease roughness and leave the feet softer. 4. Reducing odor. Any type of foot soak might help reduce odor and clean the feet. Keeping the feet clean and free from bacteria is beneficial for overall foot health. To best ease soreness, a foot soak should be between 92 and 100 degrees Fahrenheit. To use Epsom salt in a foot soak. 1. Fill a basin or foot spa with enough warm water to cover the feet up to the ankles. 2. Add half or three quarters of a cup of Epsom salt to the water. 3. Place the feet in the soak for about 20 to 30 minutes. 4. Dry thoroughly after the soak and then moisturize the feet. An Epsom salt foot soak can dry out the feet, so it is best not to do it every night. Try soaking the feet once or twice a week to make sure it does not cause dryness. It's best to purchase Epsom salts and foot soaks intended for human use. Look for Epsom salt that has USP designated on the label. USP indicates that scientists have tested the product for human use and that it has met the safety regulations established by the United States Food and Drug Administration. For most people, an Epsom bath foot soak is safe. But there are a few instances when it is best to talk to a healthcare provider before using. For example, 
people that have very dry skin should avoid overdoing foot soaks because the salt can dry out the skin leaving the feet more prone to cracks. Foot soaks of any type are not safe for people who have diabetes due to the increased risk of infection. Regularly soaking the feet may increase dryness, which can lead to cracking and raise the risk of infection. Individuals that have open wounds or sores should also talk with their doctor before using a foot soak. You may also need to see a healthcare provider if any of the following symptoms keep persisting. Prolonged tenderness after a foot injury. Foot pain that does not go away in a week. Swelling or redness of the foot. Open sores. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy this next video on 24 Epsom salt uses and benefits. Thanks for watching and bye for now.